If you're thinking of changing any of your appliances, always look for an energy efficient model. Now you might think that you need a plumber, but it's actually a very simple job to do yourself. We're going to show you how to change a dishwasher. So to change the dishwasher, the okay. first thing we need to do is take the old one away. Right. So if you can just unplug from the wall for me, Matt. Sure. Thank you. Okay. And then if you could just take the other one out for me. Sure. Most dishwashers only have a cold water supply. First, turn off the mini stop valve connecting the supply pipe to the machine's hose, which allows the machine to be isolated without needing to turn off the water at the stopcock. There are different types of valves and pipes. As a rule, when the valve screw or handle is at a right angle to the flow of the pipe or hose, this means it's off. And when it's turned to a parallel position, it's back on. The waste hose is connected to the washing machine trap beneath the sink. Pull this out, but do be careful because there may be some water in it, so have a bucket handy. Do you hand? Yeah, you've done this before. Oh, yeah, quite it's a really good idea to tape these to the top of the dishwasher, then when you move it away, you don't get water all over the floor. Absolutely. So, we've got our new dishwasher. Yep, we just need to plumb it in now, and we do exactly the same as before, but in reverse. Okay. Insert the new waste hose into the drainage pipe, and then screw on the cold water pipe. All done? Yep. So let's just move it in a little bit. Okay. What we're going to do now, we're going to switch it on at the wall. We're going to run a rinse cycle on the dishwasher, make sure there's no leaks in the pipes before we push it all the way back in. Okay. Okay. Okay, we've run our rinse cycle. Is it all good back yep, there? Yeah, it looks great. Really dry, no leaks at all, so we can put the dishwasher in for real. Okay, all right, let's turn it off for safety. Happy with that? Yeah, that's fine. Job done. Brilliant. The energy efficiency rating runs from A to G, with A being the most efficient. And buying an energy efficiency model is great because you won't be using so much power, which means it will be saving you money over the lifetime of the machine, but it's also better for the environment too.